You're too late. There's nothing more for you to take. Your people took it all last time. My people? Who are you talking about? Well, I would have pegged you for a reaver, but I see I was wrong. So if you aren't a reaver, what are you? I just want to work my fields without worrying who is going to steal everything I have. Reavers, beasts, clerics, I want my peace back. Your defenses look pretty basic. We only built the palisade to keep the mutants out. Then the reavers came, so we had to reinforce it. Then the clerics came. And it doesn't matter what wall we build, we don't stand a chance against their weapons. So, they send a patrol every few weeks, and they take our stores from us. They're stealing almost everything we worked from the soil. They don't care that I can barely provide for my own people. It would be desirable to achieve some type of mercantile exchange. That would be a logical way of supporting both parties. The clerics don't care about logic, or about us. Why not just leave and set up somewhere else? This is where I was born. My father cultivated this land and his father before him. We've made this land grow, and it's become more than just a family home. We have given food to people from all the factions. We trade with anyone. But instead of being thankful, word of our generosity has only brought people who want to steal what we have. Then arm yourself and fight for the place. I have never used violence in my life. I tend the land. I don't spill blood. I'm a farmer. There's no point in me pretending to be anything else. I will help you defend your farm. Can you find a solution without violence? My fields are irrigated with water, not blood. Let me handle the negotiations. I'm not sure you're the right person. You seem to be more of a fighter than a talker. What have you to lose by letting me try? You provoking their anger? But... I suppose you're right. But I'll need you to help me as soon as you can. In the past, the clerics would leave us a reasonable amount each time, and only return once a month. But their demands have gone up, and they come more often. I think they will return for more soon, and I fear they will leave us with even less than they have before. I would understand if you don't want to get involved. But I'll take your offer of help if it stands. I will deal with the clerics. Very well. I suspect they will be here soon. I've heard rumors that their supply party is already on their way here. Go to them and speak in my name. Make it clear that we don't want to see them or their weapons here again. That was well done. Who are you? Ah, Emmett has found himself a guard. And he chose an outcast, someone unable even to find a faction to take them. So what's your interest in Emmett? You see, I have a meeting arranged with him. And instead, he sends out his lackey. I'm here to handle the negotiations. You speak to me to you. I hope you know what you've got yourself in the middle of. I hope you are really here to make sure that this area falls under the control of Kalan's people. The people here don't want any trouble. Of course they don't. But the path of the just requires tribute. We need this property. We require this food. 
Why don't you look for food somewhere else? There is nowhere else. There is here and here only. Unless we pay for the supplies, and I don't find that appealing. Then if I pay you, will you leave? If the amount you offered was enough, yes, I consider that. If the amount was right. One more thing about Emmett. I hope these shards put an end to this. That amount will cover the supplies we need. I hereby swear to leave this place alone. Farewell. Excellent. How did the negotiations go? You can relax. You won't have to worry about the clerics anymore. Thank you. Thank you. That has lifted a great weight from us. Here, take what I owe you. If you weren't here then, who knows what would have happened. <laughs>